Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you another video. This one, um, you may be aware there was an issue over the weekend with stamps, portal claims, etc. And I just want to read the um, update to that issue and then give my thoughts on it. So let's take a look. Uh, Piper Pride Portal Issue Update. Champions, first of all, we would like to apologize for the delay in communications regarding the Piper Pride portal issue from the weekend of June 16th. We wanted to ensure that the compensation was worth the wait, and after taking the time to assess the full situation and hear your feedback around the issue, we have decided to give all players who participated in the solo contest, Reach Milestone 1, the opportunity to choose one skill plate from the contest prize wall or a 5-star bronze Piper Nevin poster for free. Please note that the small number of players who took advantage of the portal issue will not be receiving this message and will not have the opportunity to choose a skill plate or poster. You will find the Piper Pride bonus prize wall in the store until June 26th at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time and the redeemable medallion attached to this message. We sincerely thank you for your patience regarding this matter. See you in the ring, your dev team. First off, um, I want to applaud Scopely. This is a fantastic fix, uh, incredibly generous. I got one of the Piper's plates um, in the pre in the event, and this is simply an amazing uh, resolution. A lot of people have access to something they would not have otherwise potentially for years. Um, also, I do want to call out the fact that most of the time in the past the resolution ended up everyone just got it i love the fact and i want to specifically point this out that people that took advantage of it will not be getting this message um so i, I do want to applaud scopely as far as i can remember in my entire time playing the game this is the best fix they have ever implemented uh so props to scopely there i hope you all enjoy your token and now let's take a look at the prize wall I will give you guys my thoughts, uh, just my opinion, on potentially what you should get. So, this is a big deal for a lot of players. There's a lot of really rare uh, and good plates on here, plus there's Piper. I do want to say, in my opinion, a lot of times, normally, you always say you take the, the poster when you can get it. This time, I don't think that's the case. Eventually, you're going to get her. If you're not a big spender, there's really a good chance you might not see some of these plates for a very, very long time. Um, so, my opinion, if you have none of this stuff, hands down, easy choice, Piper's Power Plate. It's ridiculously strong, and I do have one of these. Uh, 99.9, I'm going to get a second. I'm going to make sure, but yeah. So absolute game changer and you do need an ultimate strap so keep that in mind when i say this um it makes apollo if you have apollo insane if you get regal it makes regal insane hall of fame triple h uh will be probably the best powerhouse um at a super low charge at six star silver with this um and in particular like a triple h plate for his main uh plate uh it's Insanely good on Rosie if you like Rosie and have an ultimate strap for him. It's also good on Piper uh, if you want to go that route. Those are like the first like five choices. Uh, after that, anyone that you're using that makes four or more pyro gems and you have a drip plate equipped to. And then after that, anyone making four or more pyro gems get that 100% boost. It is by far the most valuable thing on here for a roster in my opinion. Remember, six star silver... The uh, meta is changing away from move damage, so I think that takes some shine off of the Sheik plate. Uh, but maybe, you know, you, you don't have an ultimate strap at all, so that's worth considering. KO plate is really interesting. It's very uh, niche. Um, increase your green gem damage by 150% and your black move damage by 250% for two turns. That's when you make six or more mobile gems. Other than KO, I don't know if there's anyone that's amazing on right now. Gremlin's Ear is really useful on someone like Mutant Seth. With the sub gems and then the red gem damage of course um you may have a hogan plate on him and other things like that tiara please don't pick um and like i said piper you're gonna probably have an easier path to shards 
since she's a showdown character than a lot of other ones but i don't know your roster but from a value standpoint evaluating this i think piper's uh, uh power plate is by far the highest value to me keep in mind i don't know what scope we'll do in the future i don't know what events they'll be in i don't know which plates they will keep extra rare and which they won't uh but i think uh for most people um the piper's plate assuming you have access to ultimates and have at least one of those characters i mentioned of the first five um yeah it's also really good on uh rocky 76 with like a drip plate uh probably very good on hall of fame snoop with gears in a drip plate uh, but they don't really benefit as much as the other users i named so there's that um so that's my thoughts on it i do again uh want to say fantastic job scopely great resolution i'm stoked about this i would imagine the community is as well in fact my discord server the little bit i've seen um is incredibly positive uh, great job on the fix on keeping fairness and especially not letting those people uh that took advantage of this get more stuff so thanks scopes uh i appreciate it and so does the the community that i've talked to so far i'd really love to hear you guys comments in this video um like i said to me best value is the piper's power plate i would probably as far as rarity goes i've not seen the gremlin plate a lot the sub plates have been very useful to me overall so i'd probably rate that one second uh ko's fighting spirit third and then kind of piper and sheik plate about the same because there's some shine uh at six star silver removed from the sheik plate and please don't get the queen's tiara that would be a massive mistake um but i could see getting the sheik plate over over piper um as well so simply because if you don't have one um they've previously been expensive but the sheik plate is very old at this point so it's the most likely um other than the tiara it's it's actually the oldest thing on here so it's the most likely to become cheaper in my opinion so uh hopefully this video helps you um thanks for watching again let me know what you think in the comments and remember to like subscribe and share as that really helps me out uh good luck out there guys